everyone uh, welcome to this lecture um, so in this lecture uh, uh, we'll be um, using a Landsat data uh, and we'll convert that into a land use land cover map um, using a supervised classification uh, on the earth engine uh, Python API we'll be using a uh, uh, a collab, um, uh, Google Collab is a, a Jupyter notebook uh, hosted on the cloud. Uh, it's a cloud hosted uh, Jupyter notebook, so to speak, uh, and um, uh, hosted by Google. So we'll be using a Python API and Erzingen, uh, Erzingen, uh, Erzingen cloud computing platform. Um, so we'll be using a Landsat data and random first uh, supervised classification. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Um, so first thing first is um, let's uh, start uh, to um, uh, import the Earth Engine Python API. So mind you, uh, we're using uh, Google uh, Collab. Uh, so Google Collab by default um, uh, uh, has the Earth Engine uh, API. So what you need is just uh, import EE, which is import Earth Engine. And you also need to authenticate uh, Earth Engine. EE Authenticate will do that and um, initialize Earth Engine. Um, you click that and then uh, we'll generate your authentication code and then um, successfully authenticate that. Once you uh, uh, do that, um, um, let's create a, a region of interest for our study region. And this will um, be achieved by creating ROI and EE geometry point. And that's a lot long information. Um, we'll import Landsat data um, and filter it by uh, region of interest and also by date here. And we'll also sort the cloud um, uh, cloud cover uh, and then just from sort cloud cover and first will we'll give us the best cloud free image. And then we'll create the, the color composite for uh, visualizing the Landsat A data here. And so instead of creating a training data, we'll import uh, an already uh, uh, existing uh, training data and we'll use that and we'll just create some label and um, select the different bands, the Landsat bands that we'll be using in our classification. Uh, next step is to um, actually import the data and generate. Um, so the input here is the, the um, so the input here is the Landsat uh, image with the selected bands here. So that's our input here. So we'll um, um, we'll, uh, we'll call that uh, input and also uh, our training data which we already imported here. Uh, so technically we're overlaying the, the training points over the Landsat data. And next step is uh, we'll split the data into 20% and 80% and we'll put the 20% uh, for validation later. Uh, and that 80% uh, data will be using for training uh, training set. And next step is to actually create the random force classification model. Uh, we'll be uh, using EE classifier from the Earth Engine data, um, uh, the Earth Engine built-in algorithms. And um, Smile Random Force uh, uh, will be the uh, random force model. And then we'll train the the 20 the 80 percent data we said. Uh, we'll use that. And our label is the class here. And the different bands that we'll be using in the classification are the, the Landsat bands uh, here. And next up is the to actually, we have the model. Now we need to apply uh, the model to our Landsat image so that we'll convert the Landsat image into a classification or a land use land cover map. That's what we, we are doing here. And next is to, uh, we need to visualize the land cover classification. So we're just creating a, um, a visualization parameter here. Uh, we have five classes and we have water, urban, forest, uh, crop, and barn. We'll uh, create, um, for each of these uh, uh, classes, we'll create a color ramp. And then finally, um, we'll um, uh, import the foliant package and create this function to display our classification. But before we do that, let's execute um, our code um, so that we have um, the classification, uh, the training and the classification, and also uh, creating the visualization. And we execute this part of the code. Um, we'll visualize the, the classified image here, as you can see. And then we just uh, import the color palette we created. And because we have um, 
five, uh, we have uh, four classes starting from zero. Uh, we'll have to define those for our visualization. And the, the uh, random first classified image is classification, as uh, the name. And also we'll display the Landsat um, layer uh, here in addition. So we just execute that. And so as you can see here, uh, this is our, um, just uh, let's drag this. Um, so, so we have here our la layer menu. So we have the Landsat image here. This is the Landsat image we used uh, to, to make the classification. And this is our, um, our classification uh, map uh, here, as you can see. So we have used a, a random forest uh, classification algorithm to convert this Landsat image into a classification. And as you can see, uh, you know, most of the urban areas are red. And as you can see here, they're matching uh, with, with the Landsat image. And some of this area, the forested area, uh, is matching with our classification um, and, 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 and the cropland areas as well. Um, so, and also the water bodies here. So you, you can see that our classification visually, um, you know, visually um, uh, looks good. And uh, overall, that's how you um, apply random forest uh, supervised classification using a Landsat data uh, on the Earth Engine Python API. Uh, and uh, collab um, cloud-hosted uh, a Jupyter notebook environment.